Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another solid recipe. And as I told you guys, I'm going to be doing a lot of solid recipes this month because the warm weather is here. And you know, during this time of year, a lot of people like to have family cookouts and people love to bring solids to cookouts. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my tuna macaroni solid. You're going to get two pots, one big and one small. You're going to place both of them over high heat. All right, and we're going to add our elbow macaroni and our eggs to these two pots once they come to a boil. But while the water is preheating, let's focus on the other things that you're going to need and the other things that you're going to need to do. So the condiments that we're going to be using are yellow mustard, sweet relish, and mayo. And as you guys know, the mayo that I like to use is Helmer's mayo because I personally think it's the best. Or at least it's the best for this solid recipe. So yeah, I'm going to be using Hellman's mayo. Okay, here are the seasonings that I like to use. I use salt for taste. I use black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And the sugar is optional, but I like to add a little bit of that as well, just to balance out the flavor. And I like to garnish it with parsley flakes and some paprika once it's done, just for decoration purposes. So make sure you have all of these seasonings. And the main ingredient is tuna. And I like to use tuna by Bumblebee. That's the brand of tuna that I like to get. And I get the chunk light tuna in water. Not tuna in oil, tuna in water. Our water has come to a boil now, so we're gonna add three large sized eggs to the small pot. And we're gonna be cooking them longer than the noodles, but you wanna make sure that you get a spatula this is a big plastic spoon actually and you want to lightly drop your eggs into the hot boiling water and we're going to let them cook until they're done All right into this pot we're going to add our elbow macaroni we're going to stir it in we're going to cook this until it's done We're gonna drain the water afterwards and let the noodles and the eggs sit until they cool off. We're only gonna be boiling the noodles for about eight to 10 minutes because we don't want them to be really soggy and bloated. All right, so don't cook them too long. You don't wanna overcook them. I'll get back with you guys once the eggs and macaroni's done. So when making soda, I like to kill two birds with one stone. So I suggest you do the same. It just shortens the cooking time. Um, while your noodles and eggs are boiling, what you want to do is dice up your vegetables into very, very small pieces. When I'm making tuna macaroni salad, or any salad for that matter, I like the vegetables, if I'm adding any, to be extremely small and fine. So you're gonna dice up some celery. That's only one stalk. You're going to dice up a red bell pepper, that's for decoration purposes and taste. You're going to dice up an onion, not going to use many onions at all. And in my tuna macaroni salad, I use pickles, okay? So dice some pickles up into really small pieces. And it's really important that you guys know what kind of pickles because that will help you determine how much to use. Okay, so here are the pickles that I use. I didn't use whole pickles. Here are the pickles that I use. I used these kind of pickles. So the small sliced pickles. All right, so make sure you use pickles this size here. I did not use whole pickles. All right. 
Okay, so you're gonna drain the water out of the cans of tuna. That's really important. After you open the top, you can press it into the meat to drain the water, but you have to drain all of that water. You want it to be dry like this, okay? Because you don't want your salad to be real wet. So make sure you drain all of the water out of your chunk light tuna. Here's our eggs. You're going to dice them up. No particular way, just chop them on up. Like that there. Don't gotta be neat. And I like mine to be on the medium side, not too small, not too big. Okay. Okay, guys, so you're going to get your mixing bowl. Into the mixing bowl, you're going to add your cool macaroni. Make sure you break it up. For the full recipe, make sure you visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. The exact measurements and additional details can be found there. And this particular recipe will be found in the solid section. Okay. First thing that we're going to add is our tuna. Okay. We're going to add our eggs as well. And before adding any additional Ingredients, we're going to stir this in really well first. We're going to add our vegetables now. Going to stir them in. First thing we're going to add is our salt. We're going to add our sugar. You want to follow my recipe to a T, I recommend that you add that, but it is optional. We're going to add our onion powder, our garlic powder, and last but not least, our black pepper. As you guys know, when I'm making salad, I like to stir in my seasonings first, so that's what I'm going to do here, stir my seasonings in before adding the condiments. Now we're going to add the condiments. We're going to add our sweet relish. We're 
we're going to add our mustard A lot of people don't add mustard to that tuna macaroni salad, but I do. I don't add too much though. And last but not least, we're gonna add our mayo. It may look like too much, but it's not. You wanna always make sure you add a nice amount of mayo. You can add a small amount first, then add more later. But add a nice amount because as I told you guys before, my previous salad recipes, when you place your salad in the refrigerator to chill, the mayo or dressing is absorbed. And it'll dry out and you'll have to end up adding more mayo later. So be generous with the mayo. We're going to stir this all in now. Oh, smells amazing. By the way, guys, my birthday is in May. I don't know if you guys knew that. It was on Memorial's Day, the 30th. And, uh, yeah, May, I decided to do a lot of salad recipes, as you know, this month. Because cookout time is coming up. It's springtime. About to be summertime. And Memorial's Day, 4th of July, and Labor's Day is coming up. And I wanted to show you guys how to make salad. Because that's going to be a main ingredient. Well, not main ingredient, but <laughs> main food that people make for the holidays. Okay, so there you go. That's my tuna macaroni salad. Looking nice and beautiful. And to add to this, we're going to top it with some parsley flakes. It's for decoration purposes. Okay. And paprika. Look at that. This recipe is really, really good. I want you guys to give it a shot. You want to sit it in the refrigerator to chill. And I'll plate it in a few. Okay, guys. And here is our tuna macaroni salad after sitting in the refrigerator and chilling for a few hours. Uh, I think that salad tastes best chilled. It's just a personal preference. Um, also, I think that when you eat salad the next day, it tastes better because you allow all of the flavors and seasonings to come together. Okay? Kind of marinates. And tuna macaroni salad is best served as a side dish, obviously. But this recipe here is the busy bomb bomb. You guys gotta try it and you're going to love it. I promise you that. Everything I make is good because I'm the best. Billy Boy J is the best cooking the whole wide world. Don't nobody make some of the macaroni salad like me. Nobody. I don't care who you get to make it. It just ain't gonna be good like mine. It might be good, but it ain't gonna be this good. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This is our Philly boy Jay make tuna macaroni salad. Peace.